Hi guys, um, my name is Julia and welcome to my channel. It's a new channel, um, I just started it up, I've been wanting to start my own channel for a long time now, so I finally just went ahead and made it, and I decided that I wanted to do my first video this morning, um, so just my everyday going to class look because I am going to classes in like 15 minutes, so, oh my god, like 5 minutes, I have to leave in 5 minutes. <gasps> <sighs> okay, yep, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, um, subscribe if you haven't already, um, like this video, just watch it, comment, do whatever you want, so yeah, let's get right to it. Okay, so just a few minutes ago, I moisturized my face with my daily moisturizer, and now because my skin has been in such a, like, a rough dry patch, I'm going to do two primers. First, I'm going to spray it with this Ulta Makeup Setting Spray, technically, but you can use it as a primer, it says. So I'm going to give that a spray. Ugh. Okay, now that that dried, I'm going to go with the... NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer, and this is the green one. It's, used, it's supposed to um, help anti-redness. Just a little bit. Just a little, 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 little bit. Okay, so for foundation for today, I'm going to be mixing two foundations. So first we have the Urban Decay Naked Skin like the first one, not the like other one that recently came out in the shade 1.5 and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it with this NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade 7 Natural so usually I just go in with one pump and then one, two drops and then I just mix it with my finger. And then I'm gonna go into this beauty blender, pick up that product. Hopefully I cover this bad boy right here. I'm gonna do this again. Perfect. So that looks good. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and just because I put foundation on my eyelids, I'm going to take a powder and just powder that over my eye just so I don't get any creasage before I even start it. Okay, and I actually just now forgot that I ran out of my concealer and it is the only concealer I have that I like. So I'm just going to go in with a powder. I guess I'm just not going to conceal today and we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit in the shades Vanilla and Banana. And I'm just going to get all that product and just set my under eyes with that. Snacks. <laughs> okay, so next I'm gonna go in with my. So next is contour slash bronzer. I kind of see them as the same thing. I am going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette again. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Fawn right here. It's this like coolish, but kind of lightish contour shade. And I'm gonna go in with this Eco Tools brush. It's kind of like thin there and like fat here and it's like around on the top so it's really good to get right into this area right here
And then just in case there are any harsh lines, I'm going to take this Real Techniques buffing brush and just kind of swirl around in the areas that I think may look a little bit too harsh and just blend out to the rest of my skin. So like right under here. Now keep in mind that this is a very, very simple everyday look. I'm not looking for anything dramatic because I'm just going to class. So I'm not trying to go too ham. So light on the contour, light on everything is basically what I'm going for. So next is blush and I'm going to go in with the Lorac Pro blush in the shade Rosy Glow. And I'm going to take another Real Techniques buffing brush, but a different one, and I just use this for my blush. The thing about this Little Rock blush is that it's extremely pigmented, and these brushes pick up so much product. So I usually kind of like to, like, dab it off my hand first, and then go it in, because I go it in. Anyways. I tap off the excess, and then I go in with that, because I don't like too harsh of a blush. Stop boring and go get dressed. Like, that's good enough for me. Okay. Sorry if I sound so stuffy. I have, like, the worst cold ever right now. Um, I'm just trying to contain that. I feel like it's going away, but fingers crossed. We'll see. Okay, so next I'm going to do brows. And usually what I use is the um, Anastasia Brow Wiz, but mine broke and so right now i'm using a backup so i'm just using this sephora brand brow pencil it's like the same exact thing um in the shade soft charcoal and i have um a, another pencil coming in in the mail so i should be able to use that in a few days so i'm just lightly doing this i don't want something too extreme But I still kind of have to use a spoolie on this because this is what Sephora gives you. Is that? What does this do? Nothing. <laughs> it's just little plastic little pokers here. That's it. Oh my god! <laughs> I almost just fell off my chair. <laughs> So when I say really roughly, like, that's what I mean. Like, I don't need something extremely clearly defined or anything like that. I also don't need, like, a perfect shape. Because I'm just going to class. Okay, so that's all set. It's very roughly done, and to set that in, I keep dropping everything. And, and to set that in, I'm going to use this Essence Lash and Brow Gel. It's clear, and this is like literally not even three dollars, but like it gets the job done. Like I don't really look for much in a clear brow gel. I just am looking that it holds it in place, which it does. So. Brush that over really quickly. See, done. And there we go. Okay, so we're almost done with the simple going to class look. Last thing to do is the eyes, which I'm gonna go very light on, like one shade eyeshadow, a little bit of eyeliner and mascara, and that's really all you need. So I'm gonna go in with this Eco Tools fluffy brush. It looks like this. And the only thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this. Naked 2 um, Basics by Urban Decay, this little palette, it really is the basics, it's just like transition shades, darker shades, you know, brown or neutral shades that you may need for any look. Um, you can even make your own very, very natural look out of this palette, um, but I usually just kind of go in with one or two colors for whatever look I'm doing, um, and that really just does the job super well so I love this little thing it's so worth it because you need all these colors all the time and it just comes all in this one little place and it's amazing so okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the color primal right here 
And the only thing that I'm going to do, the only thing, is I'm going to take it into my eye very lightly right in my crease. And I blend it out a little bit both ways. That's literally it, just to give you a little bit more definition. Like, that's all I want. Like, you don't even have to blend it that much because it's just so light. I just want like that little bit of a shadow and that's basically it. I live on the 11th floor of my building, so sometimes really weird shit just like comes flying down. Okay, so that's all set. Like, you can tell that there's just a very slight difference, um, but it makes a difference. So, that is all for eyeshadow. Why is my heart rate 108 right now? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Oh my god, am I dying? <laughs> For eyeliner, I'm gonna go in with this um, L'Oreal, I forget what it's called. L'Oreal Intense, Lenore Intense in black. This is eyeliner. Um, I like eyeliners that have a more of a brush tip rather than a felt tip, because I feel like I just have more control over it. Um, this is kind of getting old, so it's like chunky and it's like, I gotta get away. So I need to get a new eyeliner. But I'm just doing very simple, very thin line, no wing, just to accentuate my lash line. And I have to go in really close. It's a really bad habit of like pulling my eye because my eyelid twitches like very slightly when I'm trying to like do my thing and I, I it just doesn't stay still and it makes it look really bad so I pull it taut a very little bit don't do that it's a very bad habit of mine which I should really try to kick but I don't oops And that's literally it. Like, it doesn't need to be a perfect straight line. Um, like, it can look a little jagged. I don't really care, because once again, I'm just going to class. I'm not doing anything amazing, and I'm not really too caring about how my eyeliner looks as much as I would some other time. Alright, time for the other eye. and that's literally it for eyeliner. So next is mascara, and I'm gonna go in with this Voluminous Million Lashes by L'Oreal, I believe it is. I usually use one of the Tarte lashes, but once again, I ran out. So, and I'm a little bit on a budget, so that's why I got this. This was only like eight bucks, and then I had Ultra Rewards, so it was only like four bucks. So I'm just gonna go in with this on the upper and lower lash lines. Oh my god, I'm getting it all over. This is like not the neatest mascara. It can get kind of messy. It can also kind of like 
flake really easily after a little bit of wearing it. So this is definitely not my favorite. This is my first time trying it. Um, it's not my fave, I have to say. So you can see how kind of like messy it is. It just kind of gets everywhere. But that's all right. Why do I care? <laughs> okay, so the last and, well, second to last, but technically last because I'm not doing lips. So the last step and the best step is highlighter. Yay! So what I love to do is go in with this Carly Bible palette um, with BH Cosmetics. I am in love with this. I just, like, look how gorgeous it is. You have the four highlighters and then the one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> ten eyeshadows. Um, I love the color scheme. I love the golds. I love all the shimmers. They're so but what I love to do for highlight is, um, I don't necessarily always use this highlight, but what I love to use is this shade right here. It's gorgeous. It's this, like, dark, like, champagne-y, pinky kind of thing. So I'm gonna go in with this, um, e.l.f. small tapered brush. E.l.f. brushes, by the way, are amazing and super cheap. So, honestly, I would get these over other brands. They're just... They're so soft, it's like, I love them. And they're all black. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with that into this shade right here. How about the excess? And a little bit more. Like, it's gorgeous, just right over your blush because it kind of takes that pinky color up. Oh so pretty it's really easy to make this subtle but it's also really easy to layer the shit out of it and make it super blending now we're gonna go in on the nose and keep it bow and i'm actually also gonna go in with this um e.l.f. eye blending brush and I'm going to take that same shade and I'm going to go very 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 lightly under my brow bone okay so this look is complete last step is to just um, set it one more time so I'm going to go in with the same spray that I used beneath all my makeup and I'm going to spray it again over all my makeup <laughs> Woo. Oh my god, it's all in my hair because this mist is so powerful. <sighs> okay, so that's literally it. Super simple. Probably takes me longer than it should. But, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you just, I don't know. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. If you are already subscribed to me, go ahead and do that. Um, I'll list all the products below. Should I do that? Is that a thing that people do? So, thank you so much for watching. I have to actually get to class now, now that I've done my everyday going to class makeup. I'm gonna go take a test. I gotta go to a lecture. I gotta do whatever I gotta do. And that's that. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Stay tuned for some more videos. And, yeah, that's about it. So, bye guys.